Okay, here's a short little introduction to JKD. As you can know, this is the latter stage material that was referred to as fence boxing. It's not just using the hands, hands, feet, elbows, knees, head, butt, shoulders, yada, yada, yada. All tools, all targets. Okay. Two primary, well, primary stance, what we call the closed stance. Narrow and long. Open stance, clicky click. Okay. This one, the hand position imitates the bottom part. 30 degree, degree, 30 degree tight angle. Okay. I get my English from Buckwheat. Okay. So anyway, this is what it looks like. My rear heel is raised. It's used to explode my mass forward by straight bent, straight sequence. Lead straight punch, vertical fist. <coughs> This one, the click here, changes my hand posture to a more even position instead of a staggered effect here and here. And this is a little bit more for middle range, okay? This one facilitates stealing the corner and then making a tactical switch on this side for the same thing, all right? so. That's a couple of signature movements from the latter stage JKD, all right? The other thing is that with the straight punch, there's three variations, okay? Vertical fist, horizontal fist, and horizontal this way, with some diagonal morphing in between, all right? So up, the last two that I showed you can be done with the head perfectly straight, okay? Well, the second one was perfectly straight, okay? Or it can be elusive head movement during the strike. In other words, if there's incoming, okay? You can also go high, middle, high, and so on and so forth, okay? Right through like thrust. Okay, so, um, let's do a quick comparison to Orthodox Western Boxing. So Orthodox Western Boxing is if I'm right-handed, my left foot is forward and my right foot is in the back, okay? Some, some stances are bladed, some boxers fight sideways, some go almost completely square. I'll go bladed because it makes the most sense to me. All right, so normally the jab cross hook sequence in boxing is a step and jab, a slide up and turn, and a hook punch, okay? So it looks something like this. You have your retracting hooks, okay, and you have your more circular hooks that loop up, all right? So in JKD, it's dominant side, strong side forward. Fencing principle, fencing, knife, foil, epi, rapier, what have you. Weapon goes in front, swash buckle goes in back. Okay, so. Our version of the jab cross hook would be a lead straight, a rear straight that takes me off the line and a refacing to steal the corner, which is called a pivot step. Our pivot step is a lifting of this foot followed by mass acceleration in this movement. But it all goes together. What I want you to do now is listen for the stutter. So unlike that smooth slide up from orthodox boxing, although I did it in strong side lead. Basically when I step, this is called broken rhythm. This foot is in the air. And then the left foot jams down. The one that's in the air briefly from this hit on the first part jams down. And you can see it's still pa pa pa. Okay? It's just my feet are catching up to my hands. Okay, staccato, right? Okay, so in the open stance, I use my rear straight to steal the corner and set it up this way. I use my lead hand as a rear to set it up this way, okay? So those are some signature movements. Uh, yes, we have kicking as well. 
So most of the kicks are on the low line, primarily thrusting and looking, okay? But of course, we look to the body and the head as well. So here's an example of one. Let's try that again. One more. It's only 4 a.m. <laughs> Just one cup of coffee, boys and girls. Come on now, give this old man, give this old man some props. Alrighty then. Indigoranchbri.com. <laughs>